We're up here at Potomac. We got here on time for a working man, which means we were a little late. Uh, had just enough time to get the car unloaded and, you know, turn around, ready to go out there for hot laps. So, went out for hot laps. I ain't had 604 here before, so we went with the same gear that, uh, or took a kind of a wild gander on the gear and didn't have quite enough. So for the heat race, put a little bit more gear in it and uh, changed the carburetor because in hot laps, the car was still breaking up. And I got a, we got, we got a fuel problem somewhere. I've changed the fuel pump. That didn't help. I ain't got the fuel pressure issues gone. So that won't the problem. Changed the carburetor. That won't the problem. I'm going to have to start digging a little deeper, I guess, uh, for tonight. About, it's about what we got. Put a little gear in it and that'll help me because it, once it hits it'll go but you know when you get back on the throttle and she don't want to go nowhere it, it creates an ill handling race car and it's hard to make consecutive laps and it's hard to, it's hard to be fast when your stuff ain't right so uh we're gonna keep on chugging at it we up here at potomac having a great time we got to see old mike stello and uh we'll see him here after the race too and that's the highlight you know of coming up here to potomac is seeing that old fella and hanging out with him and all that kind of stuff but we're uh we're gonna see what we got try to move forward a couple spots keep car in one piece because plan is to go to the dms tomorrow and uh run for it with the fast track stuff and hopefully we get I, I might go ahead and drive there tonight that way i got some time to uh you know go and um see if i can't figure this car out but i mean it'll sit there in the shop and run fine but you got on the racetrack it runs like crap so we're gonna see we're gonna see but anyhow we're about to get in the car right here for the feature and see what we got
kind of tore up. Y'all y'all can see right there. That tire's sticking out a little much. That'd be because the J bar's bent. Phillips got some sheet metal beat out. <clears throat> I got some suspension stuff to replace. You can see in here. I got a both four link rods are bent, J bar's bent. Got the drive shaft, broke a shock, and then we broke another shock on the way home because I didn't notice it, but the lower shock mount on the birdcage down there, the bolts are sheared off. And uh, I guess whenever it was up on the wrecker, it uh, corrected itself. And then in the trailer, it done that. So all in all, we uh, we, we found the uh, carburetor issue it, uh, before the feature, I guess you could say. Uh, went out for the feature, didn't have that stumble anymore, and uh, turned out to be the air cleaner top. I was running one of the walker assemblies, and the uh, motor just didn't really care for it, I guess. But uh, the, the part that hurts my feelings the most was was this. It's a $1,000 drive shaft. I can promise you I won't be putting another carbon fiber drive shaft into a car. This one. I had just come with it, but whenever the J-bar broke, it shoved it over into the lift arm and uh, kind of made a uh, lathe out of <laughs> a lathe out of itself and uh, just cut it in half. Um, we actually got new drive shaft in yesterday. This is uh, this is a week after now. Um, making this little outro, just I had a body job to do for some folks for a juice box, which was uh, which was fun. Didn't film anything on it, but uh, got that knocked out. So if anybody else out there wants a juice box body. Holla at your boy, and uh, we'll get you fixed up. But, uh, yeah, got a lot of work to do. Uh, probably won't be racing anywhere until uh, June 1st, which we'll be back up at VMS, and uh, hopefully we can have us another good run up there and um, hoping that we can, uh, you know, continue with the engine running well and uh, not have any problems with that. But uh, the biggest thing right now is getting the car back together and... Uh, yeah, but like I said earlier in this video, Potomac wasn't a waste of a trip. I know some people have said that, told me I don't need to go up there because I get tore up. And uh, hopefully uh, luck will change, but uh, Potomac's one of my favorite racetracks to go race at. And uh, the people up there are the reason why. And uh, we get to go see uh, my good buddy Mike Stella, sponsor. He's the one that keeps us up and down these roads and uh, makes sure we can go racing. So I uh, appreciate everything he does for us as well. But we had to get this POS in the, uh, in the shop and uh, start finding what all we need to replace. Because I'm sure there's more because I didn't realize the J-bar got bent until I got under the car to pull the shocks off. Um, which I've already pulled off the shocks. Sent, all, sent both sets of my shocks off to uh, Sammy Speaks with uh, uh, precision suspension. Sorry, had a brain fart. I always think P1 because of Jeff Parsons and all them, but uh, Jeff uh, Jeff does pretty well, so I figured I'd give him a shot, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll find a little speed with that, and um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put my, my good set of shocks on here. I got a set of adjustable shocks, and uh, hopefully Sammy can help me uh, or teach me about what these adjustments do to the shocks, because adjustable shocks are... They're only good if you know what, how to adjust them because uh, I could very well just adjust them right into left field and not even know it. And uh, that's, that's something that I, I lack on with the uh, late model stuff because you can't run adjustable anything in uh, the modifieds. But anyhow, appreciate y'all watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day if you like seeing race cars get tore up because... Uh, I do a damn good job at it. We uh, just ain't had no luck this year. Hopefully it'll turn around and uh, we, can, we can go back to winning some races. It's been been about two, three years since I won a race, and uh, I'm hungry for it. Been uh, busting tail in the shop to, to, to get it done, but we all know how that stuff goes. We just got to find a little bit of luck. So appreciate y'all, and uh, check it out.